Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome so back here, and today we are back to actually playing a deck we played a while ago, but we only played once. I've seen this go by two different names. I've heard it go by Lanessa Paladin, but I've also heard it go by Pipsis Paladin. I hope you'll pronounce this Pipsis. I, I know that the nickname I gave her was Pepsi, and that's probably how I'm going to continue calling the deck is Pepsi Paladin. Um... But no, overall, like, I had a lot of fun playing this deck last, and with how my RNG has been going the last, uh, couple days, playing a deck like this seems like it could be really, really fun. So, without further ado, how about we queue up the first one, and let's see how it goes. Alright, so our first game, we're playing some Priest. Uh, honestly? I feel like it's hard mode this whole hand, I'll be honest. I think hard mode this whole hand is fine. I have to change my hoodie real quick. <laughs> that might sound like the weirdest sentence you might ever hear. But the hoodie I had on was almost like a plasticky material. So, like when the, the hoodie itself got cold, I got cold. And right now my room is like... Five degrees Celsius. Remember when I said I like my room cold? I like my fucking room cold. So, I don't act the fact that my room is so fucking cold. I'm putting on a thicker hoodie. Where the wind goes through a little bit less. It's still... I shouldn't say the wind, but I guess the more the breeze that's coming from my window. It goes through a little bit less. But, ah. Uh, now this is a little bit warmer. Like, my hoodie itself is not getting cold. This one's just made out of pure normal cloth. So, I'm a little bit warmer overall, but still in a room that is very pleasantly cold. So I'm not dying of heat. It's crazy. Like when I say you can tell a temperature difference from my office to, <laughs> I was about to call it the outside world, but quite literally the outside world. Five, eight, six. Prismatic beam is eight, so that's actually kind of good. Five gets me either tears or sunscaper, and six gets me horn or mojo. That's not bad, honestly. Like this is like the main card I wanted, right? I'm gonna probably take like fifteen here, is my guess. Right now it's only nine. Yeah, not right now it's nine. If I only take 9 here and he floods the board, I think I win the game. Like, straight up, I'm pretty sure I win the game. Yeah, if he floods the board off that, I win the game. But I don't think he's going to play more minions because he know he kind of knows I drew... Okay, well, play a guy with one health. I dare you. Okay, well, while I have the opportunity, I guess I just take it. Um... I can't wait a turn, but I feel like I might die if I wait a turn. Yeah, I feel like I can't quite wait a turn. Like, I want to play this. Hmm. Let's do this. <laughs> I, I want to be able to go... Hopefully we don't draw a Divine Brew or a Feast and Famine sometime soon. So I can go this, Feast and Famine, this type shit, and just eat his board and... Hopefully have that be good enough to win the game. Uh, we put the last card you've played. So if I play this, it's going to be a Lanessa for one less mana. I'm fine with that. And if not, I mean, I do have Holy... Double Holy Glow, right? That's another card? Holy Glow? Holy Glow Stick. What is Also, by the way... I, I know I, I might have said it already. I don't think I have. No, this is the second video I record today, so memory might be a little fuzzy. Uh, I won't I will lie to you guys. Um, I'm currently drinking myself a nice cold brusque in my nice cold room. Any holy spell. That's not a holy spell. I'm supposed to cast two or less cast twice. What do I have that this hits? I hit four things. Don't really care about those cards, I'll be honest. I kind of just think I do this, I'll be honest. 
It's like, I want... No, you know what? But it doesn't cast twice is the issue. Oh, uh, I have to gain life here. Could technically do this and see if I high roll the second one of these. Plus the holy spell. Okay. Let's just do this. Honestly, getting a whole ass new hand could be fine. Because I could hit the second one and I gain eight and I'm fine. I didn't. This card ain't bad. Didn't really hit anything to play. I hit Pipsis, actually. It's so Divine Shield, Rush, and Taunt minion. Sadly, I can't hit this guy, because he's in my hand. But Divine Shield, Rush, I have Neptu. Divine Shield? Oh, I guess I can hover over Pipsis now. Will I draw every single minion for this? Peacekeeper, Leviathan, that's fine. Oh, it's also death rattle, right? If this is death rattle, yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine. That is the big fine, I guess. Still don't quite like the position I'm in. I'll be honest. That was a mistake. I know this me to kill off my pips this for free. I'll take it. I will definitely take the killing off of pips for free here. I want a dredger draw here. I will not and then you can. Draw teammates don't really do shit. I'll just take the card draw while I can. Decent famine is really good. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother hero powering, I don't need to. I should have also attacked with the dredge, not the draw. The reason I should have attacked with the dredge, not the draw, is just so the 4 2 can be hero powered down, but I don't think it really matters. I'm pretty sure I'm beyond the point of just winning the game. Relax your mind. Yeah, I'm beyond the point of just winning the game. I'm fairly certain. I meant to give plus two plus two, but I'll take it, I guess. You cast feast, right? Uh, double feast next turn. Hold up the weapon. Next turn is just double feast with the game, right? I have lethal. I don't quite. Uh, yeah, I have lethal on board, basically, with the double feast. This is plus two plus two. I should, have, I should have done it the opposite order, but... Oh, I should have attacked with my face on this. Okay. For the light! For the light. Hey, we actually won a game! Let's go! <laughs> I feel like I haven't won a game in like three days, I'll be honest, so... I'll take that. I'll take the dub. Take the dub where I can get it. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one. All right. Um. I shall bring honor to the keep Christology, mull the rest. I think that's the the best choice I have. Uh, almost anything we play against Christology, I feel like it's just a really really good card to be playing. So, I'll take it. Oh, you're so fancy again. Where I have the fancy other one he has a fancy get the fancy tests it's gonna be so weird when i actually do complete the whole collection right when i have every single hearthstone card it's gonna be so weird because at that point right there's no real point of buying packs um actually no when i complete all the hearthstone collection 
like the normal cards my gold is going to be spent on mercs so i can complete mercs eventually low rolling this felt, feels so bad because i do I, I i've said this numerous times i guess if there is someone new that hasn't heard me talk about it <clears throat> i have a goal of completing every single achievement in hearthstone Therefore, I have to complete mercs. Therefore, and in, I know this, this might sound weird to, to a lot of you guys, but in my brain to complete Hearthstone, I have to get not only every achievement, this is really good, so it allows me to post this sooner, but I think this is fine. Not only do I feel like I have to complete every achievement, but I also want to get 100% of every game mode um, completed. Therefore, that is getting... To be fair, there's, there's achievements for those, but like 12 wins with all the classes in uh, Arena. That is getting spicy pretzel mustard and... Was it spicy funnel cakes? I think it's the name of the other achievement. Those are both Battlegrounds achievements for... Uh, Win a game without losing a fight, and win a game without losing a fight in duos. Um, there's a couple other ones that I, I won't really dive into here, because I don't feel like it's really that necessary to dive into that, but... Um... I'm going to draw two minions here. Got two minions. Finley is awful. That gets me another draw, so I can't really complain about that one. Um, but yeah, but it also includes completing mercs. Mercs, I feel like, is something that one no one wants to fucking complete because mercs is mercs, and it's let's be honest, mercs is awful. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't say that. I actually do enjoy the core concept of mercs i just don't know if it's like one of those game modes that i will continue to play after i complete it if that makes sense um things like battlegrounds i'll continue to play even after i get all the achievements things like ladder i'll continue to play even after i get all the achievements that, that's like what i mean i don't know if i would continue to play mercs after I complete mercs, if that makes any amount of sense. Um, but yeah. This is nothing good. One, seven, and five. A lot of draws me Stunscaper, but I don't have the root in my hand, especially as I draw a card off this. Um, let's get plus two to my board. Uh, yeah, let's dredge and then draw. Oh, that's, that's fine. Four different minions that are in, from my class. So it'd be tier. It'd be... Leviathan, Leviathan token. The fact he hit that totem again is insane to me. Three, I mean, this is perfect, right? Two, three. Uh, plus two, plus two to my board. Does tier make them two twos? It does. Should have definitely traded otherwise. I should have sent that guy to the dome, but uh I wanna I wanna just gain some life and kill the next thing he plays from his hand. That's fine. That is fine. Man, no one's expecting the wild big control pally. Kinda funny, I won't lie. Something at tier, right? Oh, 
that's fine. Oh, everything only takes two. It's pretty nice. Uh, hang up. Six, seven, nine. What is this? Hit this. Let's dredge first. Drop hipsis. Limited time offer. Man, this deck is, is pretty good. All things considered, he's doing really damn good. Oh no, he has a 10 9. <laughs> oh no, he has two 10 9s. How much damage do I have on board? Zero, three, and seven. Oh, this guy's really interesting. Four, ten, seventeen. That is lethal. That is definitely what I meant to click and not the other one. I definitely meant to click give plus two plus two to my board. Uh, let's draw that. Let's continue punching in the dome and he dies. Uh, yeah, definitely meant to draw instead of, or buff instead of draw, but we had lethal anyways. Finally back into sub 2k. Let's go. Um... Yeah, I guess let's keep the next one. The legion's rage pales before mine. I shall bring honor to the silver hand. All right. Uh, Christology's pretty good. Let's do this, I guess. <laughs> This kind of makes me want to hold into Christology. So I potentially can do it on three. So I have double coin and then hit Amethyst. In okay, one of the things that kind of makes me mad, I won't lie, is the fact Amethyst doesn't work the way I want her to work. Um... I kind of wish that instead of sending things to 2-2, it dealt two damage to all opponents. So it basically cast a cost crate. But sadly, it just sets them to 2-2s. I, to be fair, I do love the card Amethyst. It's such a unique card. Limiting how much damage your shit can take. Drawing you cards. Buffing your board. Diminishing your opponent's board. It's a very, very interesting effect and a very, very unique effect. Um, it's one of the few cards that I feel like I kind of always just want to buy it. I I love the card. He drew patches. Let's go. Oh, we have the amethyst. I'm no longer pure. I have to kill that thing. Drawing this is kind of feels bad. I'm gonna play this. Uh, it's really good if I hit the weapon that gives me coins. Cool. So I can, again, punching one once is fine, punching two once is fine, punching a two two is fine. Um, I only have to really worry about if he has a two four, the guy who buffs uh, pirates on attack. Worry about that card, but. Uh, like that thing gets in my weapon eats it, right? 
He goes face with everything Tex might do with his face, yeah. Figure that was coming. So I do actually have Amethyst on curve. Weirdly enough, the best card for me to draw might be Robo Collar overall. Uh, the reason why Robo Collar would be such a good draw. You should have attacked first with this weapon to draw a card. But. This would be. I'm gonna play double these. Because I kind of want to draw with Amethyst next turn. And I set up a bear on how much damage my minions can take. Therefore, even if you can buff all of his boys' attack by a lot, it doesn't really get that far in, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. I don't want to trade with my minions. I guess I just take this. I don't want to give him card draw. If he wants to gain some life, he can gain some life, you know? Like, I'm perfectly fine paying one mana for 12 health in this matchup. Yes, next turn I do this and I draw. I'm actually not sure if it's draw or if it's. Is it draw? I mean, draw feels fine. As much as I kind of want to buff my board, draw here feels fine. Pips, this is huge. Cage of my rib cage. Right now, he still can't kill my guy. Because, right, all his dudes deal one. So that's five, and then his weapon deals uh, two, not three. I don't know, they really all deal two. Still alive, which is really important. Did my game crash? How much life do I want to gain here? This is always going here. Be reborn in my image. It's gonna get me prismatic beam. Can I play the prismatic beam? Is the issue. Uh, cost eight minus five or minus six. It's no, I can't. Um, a limited time. All right, so I gained some amount of health. Um, 
If I can survive another turn, Zilliax is really, really good. But I don't necessarily know if I get the next turn. Um... I should have probably played things in other... I couldn't play things in another order. What the fuck? I'll be honest, I was definitely not expecting Marin hard cast cards in his deck, you know? Did not expect that. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, alright, well. Zero, four, and one. Four gets me either... I have odds of the glow stick. I don't really want to go for that, I'll be honest. <clears throat> I feel like I have to though. If I glow stick here, I'm in a decent position. You play. Uh. I think glow stick allowed me to kill this easily, which is why I was tempted for it. I must move quickly. 100% real fate. Next, I have this. I feel really safe after I solve that. All of his one ones punching into my. Huge guy that gains me a shitload of life. I feel really safe after I resolve that. I also get to eat one of those for free, which is pretty nice. Rafam. Wild card. I love that card, though. Okay. Man. I finished my beer before the start of this game, and I feel like this game has been going on fucking ever. And I'm like, man, I kind of want another beer, you know? I can't afford to replay Rafam, so... At least not this turn. Just this. That's fine. I forgot what Rafam's abilities are, I won't lie. Uh, if I hover over him. 10-10, ten, ten, fill your board with 3-3s, three 3-3s, three three deal 10, split randomly. And then it'd be 6-4. This comes back, trade, train. I'll take the free kill. What card did he copy a million times? That is worrisome. Alright, it's like... I want to say it's fine, so we're basic. Ah! Kill Neptu. He can't kill Neptu with just one ones. Total. Oh, it's true. Adds to your hand. Rafam is so old that I should have thought it casted it. But it does not. <laughs> Shows how much I remember playing against Rafamers. Oh, we actually got there. We actually. Bro, why is it that whenever I feel like I play like a super weird off meta deck, I can actually get wins through on like competitive decks. But I will play a deck whoops. 
that I feel like is a real deck, and I'll just lose. Like, the fact that I went 3-0 and with this deck is insane to me. Like, I don't fucking know, man. Like, compared to what's been going on recently, right? The fucking Egg Hunter that I played on stream. The fucking yesterday's video with Thief Rogue. Like, I feel like my RNG has actually just been, like, fucking fisting me raw, fuck. And now, like, I play this deck, which is not even close to meta. It's, it's clearly, like, a meme deck. And somehow it works out every single time I play it. I don't know if that means I'm good at playing meme decks or I'm catching people off guard and they're misplaying against my meme deck or this deck is not actually a meme. <laughs> but, like, I just don't understand. Because, like, even... Even when I play actual meta decks like Questline Death, uh, Demon Hunter or Aggro Demon Hunter or Aggro Priest or pick a, pick a meta deck, Questline Warlock, you know? I feel like I have a worse win rate playing those than I do ha playing, like, the off-meta decks. Yes, I'll have the occasional video where I'm playing a meme deck and I go 04, you know, or 05 or whatever. But I feel like more of them I go, like, 2-1, 1-1, 2-2. Like, they either break even or are slightly above even, you know? And then, more times than not, I feel like the deck also just goes 3-0. Like, it's so weird. It's so, so fucking weird. I don't know if I'm just, sometimes I'm playing better than other times, which is possibly true, you know. Depending on how your day goes, you'll always play differently. But, man, it's, it feels so fucking weird. I don't even know how to, like, process it at all. Anyways, though. I would recommend you guys try this deck out, just because I do think the deck is slightly underrated. Pepsi Rogue is, or Pepsi Paladin is pretty fun. And also, I mean, it allows me to play my super fancy Pepsi. I should have, don't even know what the normal card looks like, I'll be honest. I've only ever seen this art, actually. Let's look at it. Yeah, my art is better. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I don't have much else to say. So, anyways, with all that being said, I'm going to grab myself in that beer, but I'm going to hop off. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one, where hopefully we continue winning. You know, maybe we play some more meme decks. Maybe we try something serious. I don't know. Leave down below decks you'd like to see. I'm always curious. Um. Anyways, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.